welcome back to the second video uh, so in this video we'll be talking about python code and how the data is getting generated so for this again i clone this repository inside this i am going to create a python environment so i just have this ready so now this is ready let me install the environment so python 3 vng it is going to help us creating virtual environment so python t minus m pnv and i'm going to call it uh, say stop streamer it created it yes so source stop streamer then environment is activated so i am going to just open a vs code window in it so this is like wsl so it will download it most of the time it will start downloading and then start so our vs code is ready it, uh, it is asking we will have to this going to put it down by and now inside this we can see there is another okay let's ignore that part and so it already had this thing let me select the kernel it needs some extension to be installed this till that get installed i will explain what is the code so basically we are importing few things such as uh, this live finance which is yahoo finance then we have kafka producer uh that i kept it for now but for this video we will not be using it for next video when we use actual kafka then we will use this to send the data uh this is the same thing we are going to send it into the local host and port but we will talk about this in the next video so the ticker is going to be your zomato it says okay which talk uh, we want and then for this specific thing i have like kept it for 20 uh for while the counter is less than 20 it is going to iterate uh, till 20 and it is going to sleep for 12 seconds after each iteration what it will do it will create a zomato's empty dictionary it is going to get the stock information from yahoo finance then using this dictionary we're going to put price what is going to be the latest price we're going to retrieve the current time we're going to put the name and the timestamp and we're going to print so basically for this video we're going to print it for next video we will be sending this data into kafka so let me check if this is working it did say that it's installed but uh, that is not working let me do one thing let install minus r requirements.txt so it is going to download the required dependency that we need and till then i'm going to copy this code paste it into oops uh data dot py so i'm just calling it data dot py i'm going to save this code and once all the dependencies are installed okay make sure you are in environment once the dependency is installed, I am going to run python 3 and then data.py. So let me just run python and data.py. Again, it says same thing for python 3. If that is not working, then
now you can see it is working so basically i picked it up from the environment the python and then just executed data.py so now you can see it is returning uh this value so basically the json that we were trying to derive from the value that we are getting so this is going to be the latest price so let's if we want we can just quickly verify it it, it is now you can see it is So we want to look for 284, it is 284.10, it is 284.14. Let's see the next value, what it comes. Can we see somewhere near time, for example, in one control, if we see, it shows 284, you can see 284.20, it is almost near real time. And it is updating as soon as we, with that, so. While second, it is going to get updated to 84.25. You can see it is exactly same as God. I am not able to close it, let it be. But it is exactly same, you can see. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we will be seeing how we can push the data into Kafka and then uh, we will continue with further series. If you have any question, any suggestion, please comment out or you can reach out to me on my email ID. If you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.